Hello everyone, how have you been? Welcome to the week seven class of Academic Reading Strategies 1. As usual, whenever you see this mark in the video, please stop the video and do the activities you have in the textbook, okay? Today we're going to use reading two of uh, unit two, reading two, which is the importance of color in business. First of all, the unit objective uh, for this reading is, you're going to read an article about how colors can affect the way people think about companies. Use the article to gather information for your assignment, okay? In the reading, we'll be talking about six different companies. So think about those when you are doing the reading. But before we jump into the reading, let's quickly look at the key vocabulary that you will find in the reading. So here we go. Advertising. Advertising is describing a product to draw attention of public. These days, people advertise on television, through internet, so many various means of advertising. Consider is to think carefully. For example, when you when you advertise, you want to ask your customers, please consider our product. In other words, please think about buying our products. Dependable is trustworthy or reliable. For example, are you a reliable person? If I can depend on you, you are dependable, okay? Encourage is to give support, to, to provide confidence, confidence to the people or to, to give them hope. It's, kind of yes you can asking people to do more asking people not to give up giving advice to people not to give up that's supporting encouragement environment you all know that that's the surrounding in which we are living a person animal or plant lives establish is to set up something or to make a company is also to establish a company notice Notice is used as a verb in the reading. It's to become aware of. I can notice what is happening, means I can see what is happening. Another word, another meaning for notice, if it is used as a noun, is it's a notice, it's a osirase, notice to people. Next service is helping or doing work for someone. For example, if you go to McDonald's, what kind of services do you get? or if you go to a favorite restaurant that you always be, you always go to, maybe the uh, waiter there can give you some service, okay? Which wouldn't cost money. So keep these uh, words in mind. If you need to study more about these words, use a dictionary. And uh, if you still need more, try to see the translation in Japanese and you can find uh, the meanings, okay? And let's go to the vocabulary exercise in your textbook. In this, here are some words from reading two. Read the sentences and circle the answer that best matches the meaning of each underlined word. So I just explained you all of these eight words in the previous uh, page. So please stop the video here and take a moment to uh, complete your exercises. This vocabulary exercise, you will have to submit through Google form later. So I encourage you to stop the video here and work on the exercises, okay? Good job. I hope you have done that. You can begin to continue the video now. And let's go to uh, reading preview. Preview the article. Now you remember what we have done for scheming and scanning? So quickly look at the article. And in the article, you can find six names, uh, the names of six companies. So, and what companies do you find? Can you think of uh, what do they do? So please stop the video for one minute and quickly find out six, uh, name of those six companies. So stop the video here. Good job, I hope you've done that as well. What, what are the name of the companies you've uh, noticed in the reading? I suppose you should get McDonald's, Microsoft, Dell, Apple, BP, 
and UPS. Those are the six companies the reading mentions. What do you know about McDonald's? What do you know about Microsoft? About Dell, Apple, BP, UPS? I think you all know about McDonald's, right? How often do you go to McDonald's to eat? Uh, talking about myself, I like, sometimes I like going to the McDonald's, not regularly though. Microsoft, computer company, it makes softwares as well as computers. Dell, computer, Apple, you know Apple, maybe you're using Apple product, for example, iPhone. But what's BP and what's UPS? Probably you are less familiar with these two companies. Please go through the reading and find out more about these. I'll not tell you, I'm not telling you the answers right now. So now it's time to read. Please read the article on page 36. So that's what uh, I will be saying in the PowerPoint also. Now read the article on the importance of color in business. That's page 36. And when you finish reading, complete your assignment using the Google form, which will be available on my doc to you, okay? So your assignment will be, after you read the article, your assignment will be identifying the main idea of the article there. Among four, you will have to choose one main idea. And then later, categorizing. Uh, complete the chart with the information from the article. You have the name of the company and what color do they have and what what feeling the, those colors give to the customers or what feelings do the colors carry. So you'll have to choose that as one part of your assignment. Another part of your assignment will be write one or two sentences to describe each company, its colors and the meaning of the colors. So you can use your uh, answers from uh, reading the uh, article on page 36. Then your next assignment will be this part, page 38, uh, which is about vocabulary. You have these um, five words to fill, it, fill in the blanks with those five words. So I hope you will have a good time doing this exercise as well. And I wish you all good luck. So again, Stay home, stay safe, we'll talk to each other or through video next week. That's all for today, goodbye.